Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and I am in a completely different setup right now. I am in the living room slash kitchen area of my apartment. If you guys saw my recent house tour, then you know exactly where I'm sitting right now on the couch. And I don't know why, but I've created this like preconcepted idea. Is that even a word? Define preconcepted. Okay, preconstructed. I found this on the web for defined preconstructed. I don't know. I've developed this idea that as a YouTuber, I need to be filming with the same background. Basically, anytime I've ever done a collab or I've been visiting family, I've always apologized for having like a different background. But honestly, I was thinking about it and it's like, you know what? Why do I have an apartment to myself if I only film in one small section of the house? And now with this like dope tapestry, Kind of want to film here sometimes, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section below because, I mean, occasionally it'd be kind of cool to switch it up. I don't know why I make it such a big deal all the time to be, like, explaining myself for where I choose to film and what days I choose to post, etc. But another thing I've always felt when it comes to making videos on my channel is that if a video is under 10 minutes, it's, like, too short and I automatically don't like it as much just because I have a lot of like 20 minute, 15 minute, 25 minute story times. So in a way, I kind of feel like I'm letting you guys down if the video is shorter, but there's a lot of video ideas I have that are kind of shorter type of videos. And of course, I will always upload those crazy long-winded story times, but I could put out a lot more content if I was putting out shorter videos as well throughout the week. Basically, I'm just gonna throw this on my channel. I wanna know what you guys think about that if I had some videos that were a little bit on the shorter side and with how much I talk, it's probably still going to be kind of long when I do these types of videos. I just really like to try out different stuff. I don't want my channel to be completely story times all the time. If you've noticed, I have been trying to stray away from that a little bit and try out some other things like conspiracy theories, drive with me's, etc. And that's not because I've run out of story times because Trust me, that will literally never happen. I have pages upon pages I've showed you guys on you now of like ideas I have for stories that I'm gonna tell or I have told or I already recorded that I just haven't put it up yet. So I don't want me putting out these long story times to feel forced. I would just prefer to spread them out if that's okay with you guys and put out some other types of videos as well. Shorter ones, longer ones, random ones, like the drive with me video. That was my first time doing that. And probably the most fun I've had filming a video in a while just because it gets old filming the same types of videos. And I don't know if it gets old for you guys watching them because I love watching story times, but I just feel like I have a lot more to offer than just that on my channel. And you guys have reacted really positively to conspiracy theories, etc. So basically that's just my ramble to intro this video. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. I'm basically going to give you guys a little story time today just to preface what I'm going to be reacting to. So early 2015, it seems like it was way longer ago than that but still that was like a couple years ago from now that's that was a while i barely even remember this so when i saw the yelp review i was dying so i went to this bagel shop i'm not even going to say where it's located because then you guys could easily figure it out and i mean i guess it doesn't matter because since i posted this the bagel shop has been closed down because it was terrible i went there with my friend and we waited for like an hour to get our bagels and they messed up our order and we were the only ones in the shop like how does it take you that long to get our orders to us and still mess it up. Like we did not have complicated orders at all. We didn't get bagel sandwiches. It was literally like cream cheese on a bagel and like maybe a smoothie or something. I don't get angered very easily. It actually takes a lot to push my buttons, but for some reason I was so angry walking out of that bagel shop. I was remembering this the other day and how I wrote them a strongly worded Yelp review under like a catfish profile. It took me two hours to track down this review because I thought they had somehow deleted it, which I didn't know that you could do. I mean, maybe you can, who really knows? But turns out there is a section on Yelp called the not recommended section if you go to any company's website, at least ones that have multiple reviews. And I found my review under there. So I don't know if that means that they hit it or someone else filtered it because they thought it was spam. But my two reviews that I left on this bagel shop's Yelp page we're both in the not recommended section. So apparently they just didn't like what I had to say. Obviously this is not what really happened and maybe I should have done this. Maybe this was a little bit childish, but I just thought it would be kind of funny to react to. Mike B had a very unsatisfactory experience at this bagel shop. My wife was going into labor and I stopped in for a quick bagel. Not only did the young man behind the counter start a fire in the bakery, but proceeded to take six hours to spread the actual cream cheese. There is something to say about an establishment with a surplus of baked goods and a shortage of fully capable staff members. I missed the birth of my firstborn son that day, but learned a very important lesson. Never eat here. I remember typing it in my notes because I was so pissed off about the service I had there, but I didn't want to put it under my name just because I wanted to like 
embellish it and obviously anyone who sees that is gonna know it's like a joke like that didn't really happen like okay I missed the birth of my kid right but so after I did that I realized because I wrote on it like Mike B or whatever as like a fake name I realized once it was posted that I had signed up on Yelp with Facebook so it said Mike B and it showed a picture of me it showed a freaking picture of me and I was freaking out thinking I was going to get in trouble for doing this because of what I wrote it obviously wasn't true and then it didn't make any sense saying my wife was pregnant when I'm like a 16 year old girl at the time or whatever. So I started freaking out and you can't delete Yelp reviews to my knowledge once you post them like including if it's your own at least I couldn't figure out how to do it so I had to go in and edit it. So that's where the second comment comes into play. It says yummy and then it says my name on it. Because I couldn't delete the review entirely, so I just cut it, like, you know, cut and paste. And I wrote, yummy. And then I quick changed my name on there to say my actual name. And I was like, oh my god. And I made a whole nother account on Yelp under Mike B. And I literally searched on Google, like, a businessman, like, fake catfish picture. And then I repasted the review of what I just read to you guys. So if you go in the not recommended section of this Yelp bagel shop place, it says that review and right under it, yummy. Ali H, but um, <laughs> I just thought it was really funny. In fact, you know what we should do? We should try to find how I got that fake catfish picture. I'm gonna type in businessman on U YouTube, not YouTube, on Google Images. It's like the third one that pops up. I'm pretty sure it was this guy. Okay, no, the guy's a little bit different, but if you look up businessman on Google Images, you can pretty much find the picture or like at least a guy who looks exactly identical to the one I used in that Yelp review. I just thought it was really funny looking back that my review was still there on their Yelp page forever. <laughs> and I feel bad if that contributed to the downfall of their business or company or chain or I don't know. It might have just been like a mom and pop bagel shop. I really don't know. I have never seen another one of that specific bagel place anywhere else. So maybe that was the case. This is the only Yelp review I think I've ever left on a company's Yelp website ever in my life because that's how freaking pissed off I was. If you guys want to contact me, like DM me on Twitter or Instagram, send me the worst possible reviews of anywhere that you can find that you think are really funny. I want to do an entire video reacting to them because I just didn't really prepare myself to do that in this video because like I said, this is gonna be a shorter video. I just thought this was hilarious that I was still able to track this review down because I was freaking pissed writing it, like literally so pissed. And looking back, like it's not even that serious. Like I don't care if they took an hour or if they gave me the wrong thing. Like it's a bagel, it's a bagel. Like I was tripping. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Leave a comment below again. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys wouldn't mind if I put out more videos, just some of them were shorter sometimes like this one. I don't know if this is short for you guys, but anything under 10 is like hella short for me. Like, I don't know. Follow my social media if you guys want. Subscribe, also hit the bell button. That way you are notified right when I post videos. You can be first to come over and watch. I will see you guys next time. Later alligators. Bye.